Hey Soul Family, this is Food by Faith. Just coming along to give you a little update on my indoor garden. I seriously need to make some expansions. I'm gonna have to do that within the next um, couple of weeks because I have a lot going on. As you can see that amazing Pippin Pepper, it is doing its thing. Look at that stalk coming out of that arrow garden. A lot of flowers are popping up on it. I have some lettuce growing here. And of course, there is my Merlot lettuce that I sowed on the 2nd of January. And that's actually um, my plant for the MIG 2022 Grow Off Challenge. All right. Hashtag Amy's Avengers. We got it. So once it gets a little stronger and puts on some more true leaves, then I will be placing it in my five gallon bucket. These are just some cuttings that I have or some that I did from my plants outside. Here are some peppers and a few pumpkins that I sowed early. And the only one that has germinated so far is the pumpkin. I gave my herbs a really good haircut and actually put some of them in the jar until I was ready to use them. As you can see, the basil has taken root here. And then behind here, using some of that residual light are my cuttings from Juicing with Jay, the pomegranate cuttings. I received a new Meyer lemon from the bull. I absolutely love getting plants from him. And this is my Meyer lemon cutting from my uh, tree that I have outside. Then if we go below the table here, we have my other Meyer lemon that I got from the bull. And then back there is a Kalamondan orange that I got from him recently. I also got some strawberries from him recently, but I planted those outside already. I'm actually going to do another order with him. These are the tomatillos that were inside of the arrow garden that I removed and <clears throat> placed them behind. And so here we have my arrow garden grow light. And I want to show you guys, so on the 15th of January, I planted these seedlings and check them out. So this is why I'm gonna to have to add an additional grow area because of my seedlings. And they are growing out of their container and they are looking absolutely amazing. As you can see, the butterfly pea, it has not germinated at all yet, but I'm gonna give it time. And that's the point of sowing these seeds early. Um, my Jimmy Nordello pepper, it's germinating in here. And I sowed this on the 15th, but these I sowed on the 5th of January and nothing is happening in there. So I think once I remove some of these, I'm going to get more peat pellets and I'm going to sow my peppers in here and maybe I will get a better germination rate. So over here, these are some strawberry seeds that have germinated. And then I got these seeds, it's a kumquat tomato. I got these from our soil brother GT. GT grows it in Alaska, you guys really have to check him out. And he sent them to me in the mail. I was so excited. So I placed these seeds in here and look, they're already germinating. Here are my beans, my sweet corn has already germinated. He sent me some cucumber seeds and those have germinated. My lemon balm has germinated. I have a few other peas. I have a pole cherry and then I also have a black strawberry tomato and it has germinated and then the Bonnie's Best has germinated and those seeds, the pole cherry, the Bonnie's Best and the black strawberry, those are seeds that I got from At Home with Cherie 
So that lets you know that her seeds are great, guys. So if you ever win one of her giveaways, just know that you will have great seeds and she actually saved these seeds. So I'm just giving my butterfly pea time to germinate. And of course I will sow more seeds on the back of the Baker Creek packet. It tells you that you need to soak the seeds for 24 hours. So I did that and then I placed them in here. And so we will wait and see. But again, like I told you, I'm going to have to move some of these to a different area because as you can see, the roots, and that's what I enjoy about these peat pellets is because it's easy to be able to move them. Um, and so all I have to do is just actually put them into a bigger pot and I won't disturb any of the roots versus in this seed starting kit, you actually are disturbing the roots of things. So I am going to sow everything that's in here. I'm going to sow it again, but in peat pellets. And I will see if it will do better that way. Well, guys, this is just an update. Just letting you see what I have going on. And once I decide to move everything to... Um, will move some of the seedlings to a bigger grow area. Of course, I will bring you guys along on that journey with me as well. So as I tell you all the time, remember to get up, get out and grow something and have faith in our food. All right, hashtag Amy Avengers, we out.